We're all stupid. And that's okay. I can't tell you the amount of times I've sat there watching a movie and thought to myself, I'm 99% sure I have no idea what's going on, but I'll just nod and pretend I do anyway. Some of the time, yes, you've utterly missed the point. But on other occasions, this is actually all part of the process. Some films demand to be watched a few times until it all starts to make sense, where you take information you picked up in round one and then paste it in when you go back for another sitting. Such a mechanic can often turn a movie into a classic. And I'm Simon from What Culture. This is 10 great movies you didn't understand first time. Number 10. Inherent Vice It takes a lot of chutzpah to make a movie that's purposefully nonsensical, but that's what director Paul Thomas Anderson set out to do when he turned Thomas Punchin's novel into a film. It certainly doesn't help that both go out of their way to be deliberately confusing, but this is what makes Inherent Vice such a fascinating and intriguing watch. Built around a pot-smoking detective who is trying to find his ex-wife's new lover that has vanished, it refuses to be tied down to a single genre. Sometimes it's a comedy, and it goes full-on serious with the crime. There's a fair bit of drama thrown in for good measure too. It's completely open-ended as well, so when it's all over, you have no idea how the whole thing turned out. Brilliantly, however, that's all intentional. You're meant to be baffled. Whether that makes it entertaining is going to be down to the individual. But when you realize this and go back in for a second viewing, it's almost like you're watching a different movie. Just experience it and make up your mind. It's almost therapeutic. Number 9. Jacob's Ladder When you get to the conclusion of Jacob's Ladder for the first time, you will undoubtedly be going, What the f*** was that? Purposefully nuts, the story of New York postal worker and Vietnam vet Jacob Singer takes you on a roller coaster of questions, confusion, and straight out bewilderment. This, however, is due to his own paranoia taking over how he sees the world, manifesting itself as visions of demons and the constant fear of being chased down by the government. Dreams and reality come crashing together like a head on collision. When it ends, though, and spoilers, you realize he never made it back from Vietnam, so the entire film was one big hallucination, the more puzzling elements make a bit more sense. I mean, they don't make total sense, but watching it again is a far easier and more explanatory ride. Number 8. Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind To be honest, I've still no idea what was going on in this movie. I just know Jim Carrey was in it. Dig a little deeper, however, and you start to realize that the core of the film is about a couple who have erased the memory of each other from their minds. So instantly, you're met with a baffling, insane concept that's difficult to understand. Just to throw a bit more wood on the fire, the journey we go on is through main character Joe's own memory, which results in shifting locations, mad special effects, and a moment-to-moment -moment experience that's hard to keep up with. This isn't your typical opening, climax, resolution affair. It's only when you go back for a second viewing with all this context in place that it starts to come together. A difficult watch, but a fantastic one as well. Number 7. 2001 A Space Odyssey Stanley Kubrick's debated masterpiece was way ahead of its time, so much so that it's still perplexing minds even today. Not bad for a film that came out in 1968. A lot of this is Kubrick's doing too. Whereas the book is happy to explain a lot of the plot, good old Stan isn't, deciding that symbolism and overarching themes were a much better way to get it all across. After all, doing so not only makes you concentrate, but it also allows you to come up with your own interpretation of things. Which is exactly what you're asked to do each time you watch 2001 A Space Odyssey. You're meant to come up with a concept in your head and then go through the movie again to see if it all adds up. So you can imagine how your brain will be after you tackle it for the first time. A Marmite type movie, no doubt. The one thing we can all agree on is that without it, pro wrestler Ric Flair would never have had entrance music. And that wouldn't have been a good thing. Number 6. Donnie Darko Most movies that feature what seems to be a man dressed up as a bunny are usually light, fluffy affairs that will put a spring in your step and a pang of love in your heart. Donnie Darko will not do this. At all. The antithesis to light viewing, Richard Kelly's bizarre creation is so difficult to get your head around, a director's cut with commentary was released to try and explain it all. That's when you know you've pushed the complex button a bit too hard. What you witness, though, is our friend Donnie experiencing alternative timelines where different choices are lived out in that reality. That's even hard to say, let alone watch or try to talk about with someone else. You'd be better off just making random noises. There is a very powerful message at Donnie Darko's core mind, and it's one of tangent universes and how space and time tries to fix itself when an interference takes place. You can't take all that in on one viewing. It's imperative to sit down with it over and over again. Even then, you'll probably still be left with your mouth slightly ajar as you try and piece it together. But hey, there's a man walking around in a bunny suit. Number 5. Memento If Memento did what most films did, you know, go from the start of the story to the end of it, it wouldn't be confusing at all. But that's not what Memento does. 
Instead, Christopher Nolan's breakthrough hit opens with the end and finishes with the beginning. Following Leonard Shelby, a man who could not form a new memory as he hunts for his wife's killer, it starts off bizarrely because you see him get revenge instantly. From there, it's a case of figuring out how Leonard came to his conclusion and if he actually made the right choice. You simply have to watch Memento through at least twice because once you have all the information, it just makes so much more sense. A fantastic movie. Everyone involved deserves a pat on the back by actually managing to edit it together this way. Number four, Predestination. Not the prequel to Final Destination. Predestination holds little back when it comes to the idea of time travel. Unlike Back to the Future, which had fun with the idea of two different timelines crashing together, the Spearig brothers decided it would be much more entertaining if such a concept was really, really, really confusing. For starters, the main character is the same person, only from different points in time. So that's hard enough. Furthermore, this man, woman, thing can have sex with itself, give birth to itself, and as we find out, kill itself. You obviously don't find that info out till the end. That doesn't stop predestination from smacking you over the head with a frying pan of befuddlement throughout. Number three, Enemy. Well, look who's back. If one nuts film wasn't enough for your man Jake Gyllenhaal, he had to be in two. This is probably why he decided to play the Prince of Persia in that awful movie wanted to give his brain a break. Enemy tells the story of timid teacher Adam Bell, who discovers an actor that is his doppelganger. As their lives begin to overlap though, Bell starts to go a bit nuts. Why this happens is up to you. Are the two twins? Are they dual personalities in someone else's mind? Is it a Fight Club-esque Tyler Durden situation? You'll never get a solid answer. You've got to pick up the clues and try to figure it out. This certainly isn't helped when throughout the movie, a woman turns into a spider. Yep, enjoy. Number two, Primer. If anyone ever comes up to you and says, I understood Primer the first time around, punch them. Because one, that's just a weird thing for someone to do. And two, they're lying. No one understands Primer the first time around. A complicated story told in a very complicated way. It's based around two friends who accidentally invent time travel which granted would be a productive way to spend a Sunday. As they both get wrapped up in what's possible and make an almost silly amount of trips, however, it's extremely hard to follow what's going on. This gets worse because everyone involved talks full on science. Yes, science. I don't mean GCSE level either. I mean Albert Einstein like stuff. If you're dumb, like me, you will literally not understand what is being said. That's half the point. It's a genius concept, but man, is it hard to figure out. Number one, the tree of life. Despite sounding like the latest offering from Pixar, The Tree of Life is one of the most in-depth and poignant movies you could hope to come across. I could try and explain it to you, but to be honest, I don't think I'd do a good enough job. The film's synopsis, however, reads as follows. The Tree of Life chronicles the origins and meaning of life by way of a middle-aged man's childhood memories of his family living in 1950s Texas, interspersed with imagery of the origins of the known universe and the exception of life on Earth. Who even puts those two things together? It's like making a cheese sandwich and whacking some ice cream in there. The Tree of Life is a beautifully shot attack on the senses though, filled with meaning and tackling the idea of life, death, and what that means in a philosophical sense. Just make sure you take your time with it. Know of any other movies that ruin people's brains? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Then come follow me on Twitter at SimonMiller316. I'm Simon from What Culture, and I'll chat to you again soon.